bespoke line charts, the dendrogram chart, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, we're using lines, we are going to curve them into position, we are going to order our elements. The key thing here is that we are going to apply what we call a sigmoid function to the curve. If you don't know too much about a sigmoid function, I'm going to put a link to the function in the resources below. I would recommend you check it out. But otherwise, I hope you're ready to get started. This is the last tutorial of this section. So with that said and done, let's open up Tableau Desktop. So let's start by loading our Superstore data source into Tableau. Let's go to Microsoft Excel, locate and open a file. And now let's drag orders onto the query panel. Have a view, look at your data. Let's go to sheet one. As this is going to involve data densification, we are going to do our typical data densification tricks. In our case, let's right click on ship mode, go to create, calculated field, and let's call this path. We are going to say if and only if ship mode is equal to first class then we are going to put one else one or one let's click ok now that we have the path we want the path bin so let's do that great bins we are going to set the size as one nice and simple so what does that mean we're going to create 100 points However, let's now create our X calculation. Again, we are going to roll in our index with our X because with the sigmoid function, we want points going from minus 6 to 6. So bear in mind, we are going to use index minus 1. We are going to multiply by 0.12. And then subtract 6. The reason being is that we have 100 points, which means that we want each point to be 0.12. So, therefore, it should give us a range from minus 6 to 6. And that we can feed into our sigmoid function. Let's visualize this, it will be a lot easier to see. Let's take x and drag it onto columns. Let's turn this into circles. You can see it's minus 6. Let's take path. Drop it on. Right click. Ensure that show missing values. Now take this and drop this onto detail. Now right click on X. Compute using. And path. This is what we've created. For minus 6 we have 100 points. All the way to 6. So this is the first step, this is what we are going to feed into our sigmoid function, which we will create now. So, are you ready for this? We are going to call it y, and this is an implementation of our sigmoid function. 1 plus exponential, I you haven't used that one before, I know I haven't, and minus x so this is the sigmoid function actually we can remove some brackets sometimes i do have a habit of adding too many just in case but let's click apply now i want to take this into roles and as you can see, we have this dotted curve. It almost looks like an S curve, but not quite. I want to change this to a line chart now. And now I want to drag path bin to path. As you can see, we have this beautiful smooth curve now. This is a curve that we will use to create our dendrogram, but we still have a little more work to do. Firstly, we want to apply this to our own data. So let's look at cells data. And let's start by creating some calculated fields. As always, first one, TC cells. 
from here. Windows Sun. Some of cells. Nice and simple. Let's click OK. Again, we're going to duplicate this. We are going to rename it. As you could probably guess, total cells. Nice and simple so far. And then we are going to create our final calculated field, which is TC percentage. Again, it's always fun to create these percentage calculations so we can use them a little later. What I'm going to do now is have a calculated field and I'm going to call this DC rank. And I'm just going to put index here for now. This is going to look a little strange, but you'll see how it works in a moment. What I'm going to do now is take subcategory and I'm going to drop that into detail. Nice and simple. I'm now going to modify our Y calculation. And I am now going to do the following. Multiply this by TC rank. It shouldn't do much yet. But now if I right click on the Y, go to edit table calculations. If I find my rank and adjust it so it's based on subcategory, we now have the following. You can see the sigmoid curve is creating itself and we have this little butte. What I'm going to do is now edit the Y calculation. For now, I'm going to put minus one. Why am I going to do that? We'll just push it back so that the bottom line is flat. Nice and simple. What I'm going to do now is add some of the decorations. Well, let's do it. First thing I want to do is take subcategory and drop that onto label. Nice and simple. I want to take TC cells and also drop that onto label. I want to take percentage and drop that onto label. Now I want to double click on my x axis and I want to fix this from minus 7 to 10. Let's see if 10 works for now. As you can see, we've created a lot more space now. I'm going to edit my label. I am going to put all of these onto the same row. And see how that looks. If I need to increase my bottom x-axis, I'm going to fix that to be 12, just to make sure. And view all. So that is looking like it's getting there. Let's format slightly. So subcategory, I'm going to turn this into Tableau Bold. Let's make it size 10. The percentage doesn't look quite look right because I have to edit the table calculation, but we'll do that now. Right click. Compute using bin to start off with. Now we're going to edit this. And for total cells, as we've done a few times, let's make sure that path as well as subcategory so there's no restarting. Now we'll format this. Let's format this to a percentage. Nice and easy, one decimal place. I also want to format the cells, so let's do that as well. Let's format this to currency, like United States one decimal place and let's make this in thousand so now we've built this nice visualization and I want to take cells DC cells and drop that onto color I want to edit the color and I want to have a nice deviation from blue to orange 
As you can see, there's no real sorting at the moment in terms of values. The sorting is on the name. So let's right click on subcategory. Let's go to sort. Let's select field. Let's sort this by cells amount and the sum. There you go. Nice and easy. So with this said and done, we can hide the X. Don't hide the Y yet. Let's format this. Let's remove the grid lines, the zero lines, and the axis ruler. So now with that gone, as you can see, we're doing well. We're creating our chart. However, we want this to be pushed down slightly. So instead of starting at zero and going all the way up, we want this to fan out. So how do we create that effect? Well, we'll create that using a little bit or some really interesting mathematics. So let's give this a try. We will now create a new calculated field. EC underscore max rank. All this would be would be a Windows max of the TC rank value. Nice and simple. Now we'll give this a try and we'll work this out together. As you remember before, we did a minus one. What did that do? That pushed this down. So how about if we minus DC max rank? Let's see what that does. Absolutely nothing. But the key is because we've added a new calculated field, a new table calculation. Let's go to edit, max rank. Now select subcategory. Aha. Uh -huh. So as you can see, by subtracting the max rank, we've pushed everything down. As you can see, we are getting there. How about if we subtract this minus two? What does that give us? That looks about right, but let's make sure. Let's take subcategory, drop it in. Let's take two, see how that works. Hmm. I'm going to show this so we could figure this out together. I want to think about it. So with two items, with three, you can see this doesn't quite work. So what I'm going to do is modify the rank slightly by adding one to it. Let's see how that works out. And that looks better. You can see with animations, this just looks amazing. But as you can see, you can play with this now. You've created a dendrogram. We can now hide the Y axis. We no longer need that. We can now add additional fields. We can add our order date. And now we can show this. Let's select a single list value. And the animation is absolutely awesome. And there you have it. That is our dendrogram. Let's name this. Do have fun with this. Do explore what we've done, the various techniques. As this section is coming to a close, we have built a lot of data visualizations using the line mark type. The main thing here is that in the first section, we drew many points on the screen to collectively make a great effect. What we're doing now is connecting those points using a line and drawing curves, drawing smooth lines, or drawing straight lines. So there's a lot that we've done here. So I hope that you've enjoyed this as always. If you need to repeat the class, please do. The class is yours to keep. Otherwise, see you in the next tutorial.